What's up, party people? It is Brian here with Unrival Multimedia. I don't know if we will ever see a better college football playoff national championship game than Alabama versus Clemson, where Clemson came back from 10 points down on the best defense in the country to win the national championship, 35-31. And on top of that, Deshaun Watson had arguably the best one-man performance in a national championship game in history of modern college football. Besides Vince Young in the 2006 Rose Bowl championship game, what game was better? Honestly, what one-man game was better? Deshaun Watson had 420 yards passing, Three touchdown passes and one touchdown rushing. And on top of that, Clemson had zero points in the first quarter. They were down 14 nothing before Deshaun Watson did all of that. He did all of that in three and a half quarters. Excuse me, three quarters. That is incredible if you saw that game. The way... Clemson persevered, kept coming back over and over. They were down double digits in this game three different times. This was an amazing performance. If you're an Alabama fan, you have got to be heartbroken and crushed. The defense for Alabama had this game in hand. All year long, they were able to shut down any team they played. Up 14 points. And they cannot do it against Deshaun Watson, who is the best player in the country. I have said it before. He should have won the Heisman. He has brought Clemson back over and over and over again. And he did it on the biggest stage. Against the arguably the best defense ever. Because Alabama broke the will of every team they played. Except Deshaun Watson and Clemson. To let you know how good Watson was... He had four wide receivers with over 90 yards receiving. And Hunter Renfro, who is barely 180 pounds, had two touchdown catches and the clinching game-winning touchdown where he was wide, wide open. I never thought I would see this Alabama defense give up so many wide open passes. Mike Williams ate them alive. Hunter Renfro ate them alive. This was an excellent performance by Clemson's offense. And on top of that, you cannot blame Steve Sarkeesian or the Alabama offense. Jalen Hurts, a true freshman, got the touchdown to take the lead late in the fourth quarter with his great running ability. And I thought that it was game over. Alabama's defense is what you want to feel if you're an Alabama fan. And they just did not get the job done. This was going to be the coronation of Nick Saban as the greatest college football player, excuse me, college football coach ever, and that just did not happen. How can you sit there and not blame Nick Saban in the fourth quarter where his defense gave up 21 points? How? This is just an epic collapse in my opinion. If you're an Alabama fan, you have got to be crushed. The first half... This was going smoothly and perfectly. You could not get in a shootout with Clemson or Deshaun Watson. And that is what happened. So, I want to hear from all you Clemson Tiger fans about this great, great national championship comeback win. And you Alabama fans, who deserves blame for this? Does the Dick Saban, because I definitely do think Dick Saban deserves majority of blame. If he gets all the credit... This kind of collapse on the defense is on him because Steve Sarkeesian, with very little time to come on a game plan, pulled out trick plays. Jalen Hurts did not make any big mistakes, no interceptions. So, at the end of the day, Nick Saban needs to be front and center taking blame for this loss. And Dabo Sweeney, the coach for Clemson, deserves all the credit along with his staff for persevering and Deshaun Watson just leading this team on his back to a national championship. I don't believe anybody ever thought 
Clemson with Dabo Sweeney would ever win a national championship. I know I did it, but kudos to Clemson. This game will be remembered for a long time, just like Texas versus USC in 2006. So with that being said, I look forward to all your comments on this great game. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. And please do subscribe to Unrivaled Multimedia. Until next time, take it easy.